Why is this so hard? god i haven't spoken to you guys in this vlog but welcome to another vlog as you guys seen we are in frankfurt in my previous vlog i told you guys that obviously i am coming on this solo trip and that was where we left off and now we've picked the camera back up it's been one hell of a day but a really good day and it was definitely worth it now that i'm in frankfurt i got to the airport too 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 early that's one Two, I don't know, for some reason, everything was just slow today. And I understand it is summer, so the airport was packed. I love to travel, but I don't like the journey. I don't like the trip. That's my thing. And that airport was packed. I really want to lay down, but I don't want to lay on the bed until I have taken a shower because I really want to take a quick shower. Wait, let me put you guys here. So I have an itinerary for this trip, but the itinerary is not anything crazy. It is um, just going to be a weekend trip. We have two nights in Frankfurt and sort of like two days in, in Frankfurt. Two and a half days, if that makes sense. Because um, I leave Sunday night, like I leave at 10 p.m. and I get to Budapest about 11 something, almost midnight. Um, but yeah, so we just have like a light getaway. I just wanted something really quick, something easy going. And that's why I picked Frankfurt as well, because it's not like a really loud city. Um, based on my research, I've been to Germany before, but I've been to Berlin. I think I have that vlog up when I went with Fatim sometime last year. But I wanted to experience a different city in Germany. And I've been wanting to come to Frankfurt for a long time because I've heard so many good things about it. And I want to experience it myself. So yeah, we're here on a solo trip. And this is my first solo trip for the year, 2024, which is actually quite late in the year because you guys know last year I was I was I was out, okay? But a lot has happened this year. I've not had the opportunity to travel as much as I want to. I have other priorities for this year, to be honest. Last year was my travel year, so I spent a lot of money traveling and I spent a lot of my time traveling. But this year is not really about that. I want to travel, yes, but it's not my priority. I have other things that I need to get out my list before the year ends. But today, since we're here really late, because honestly, I wish I had booked my flight earlier but i'm here really really late currently it's almost 10 p.m if i'm not mistaken but the good thing about this hotel which i already love is they have a they have everything here basically so they have a rooftop that they said is the highest rooftop in the whole of germany so it's not even just frankfurt but the whole of germany it's one it's the is the highest so obviously one of the best and I mean, I, I saw something like that on TikTok and I really want to try. So tonight we're going to go there. It goes at 2 a.m. and currently it's 10. So I'm just going to take a quick shower and do like light, a light beat and everything. I want to also take pictures tonight. I don't know how possible that is because when I was coming into this hotel, it was packed. Okay. <laughs> it was packed. And that's to show you that obviously people love to come here. And even when they're not staying in the hotel, they love to use the hotel restaurants and bars and everything which is a good sign but honestly i don't know how it is or how it's going to be for me to take pictures but i'll try to take pictures so i'm going to do that right now but i feel like i will have to relax a little bit because i need to relax a little bit i don't want to be in and out because i literally just got here so 
I need some time. I was already undressing and unpacking. Then I remembered that I picked up a perfume that has been on my wish list for ages now. Well, a couple of weeks, let me not lie. This is the Prada Infusion Do Ginger Ginger Bray. Long story short, this perfume is a ginger spicy perfume. It has, um, let me see, because I know the notes are supposed to be. I think it has, if I remember correctly, it has ginger, it has vanilla, it has mandarin in it. And when I tell you this is about to be my scent for the summer, this is about to be my summer 2024 scent. Yeah. I smelled this once a few weeks ago and I, I knew I had to get it. And at the airport, it's obviously way cheaper. Oh my God, this smells so good. I'm about to abuse this. This summer, oh my God, this smells so good. This is amazing. This smells, oh my God. I feel like this is the kind of perfume that is meant for a certain type of personality. So if you don't have the personality to go with this fragrance, and when I'm talking about personality, I'm talking about like feisty. I'm talking about, you know, I don't mind all the attention being on me. I'm talking about, oh, like intimidating type vibe or energy or personality. If you don't have that, then this perfume might scare you. Like it might really scare you. And if you wear it, knowing fully well that you don't have that energy or that vibe going, I don't know about how people are going to take it. And when people start to come to you and compliment you, I want to speak to you. I want to like hug you and everything. I want to ask you questions. I don't know if you'll be able to handle that. That's how inviting this fragrance is. It's very, very intimidating. It's a summer scent, but it's very fresh. It's very, it has a green undertone, if that makes sense. I don't know if you can use undertone for perfumes, but it has a green undertone. It is extremely spicy, like it is ginger. So when you smell it, you smell ginger. And you know how ginger is. Ginger is very in your face. Ginger is very... Mm. And then with the vanilla, when it dries down, when it begins to dry down, it becomes a little more creamy. And then with the mandarin, it's like that zesty... Look, this is a complex scent in my opinion. like Because it has different layers. Different layers that are so inviting. And that's one thing I really love about this fragrance. I've spoken about this fragrance for about two minutes. Well, three minutes. That's how much I love it. So I picked up that and I also picked up champagne. I put that in the fridge already. And I just have my sunglasses here. So yeah, enough of this. It's about to be used and abused on this trip. Oh, the notes are here. It is ginger, mandarin, geranium, and vetiver. To be honest with you, I really don't like vetiver in fragrances. Like I really don't like vetiver as a note. Like once a fragrance has vetiver, Honestly, I stay away from it because it's not really as, it's not my thing. But this one, you honestly cannot smell it. Like, I don't smell the vetiver in here. And I feel like that's the reason why this is not irritating me. I really love this fragrance. It's everything. Hey, you guys. So, honestly, I am running late. I actually got ready on time. But I hopped on a call that literally took a lot of time. Like it took all my time. I had to, you know, be explaining myself for God knows how long. But yeah, I am ready. It is just a few minutes past midnight and they are going to not let people in from one. So I need to go there right now. I'm going to take you guys with me, but I think I don't know how I'm going to do this. But let's just go. Let's go first. back to the room you guys oh wait let me put this dead cat on this thing <sighs> how am i going to rate how do i rate the rooftop i probably rate it no i probably i rate it a five out of ten it was all right but honestly i feel like i went too late so it wasn't a lot of people there anymore and i didn't really get the view that i went there for my eyes are a bit <laughs> down because obviously i've had a little bit to drink i had champagne there but 
I'm gonna have, I'm going to open the champagne that I got from the airport. <coughs> Why do I keep sneezing? Who's calling my name? Leave me alone. I quickly took a shower because honestly it was hot there. Okay, let's go. Why is this so hard? Oh! Honestly, I'm just gonna retire for the night because I really want to watch an episode of a series that I'm watching and drink this champagne and sleep. Hopefully, I wake up early tomorrow because we have a bit of sightseeing to do. Not even sightseeing because I don't think I want to, I don't have anything planned for sightseeing. You guys will see. I just want to go to, I want to shop a little bit. I really want to shop a little bit, so I'll take you guys with me. But let's just end the night. I need to sleep because it's been a long day. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday, my official full day in Frankfurt. And we're about to head out. It's, is it morning or not? It's noon. It's literally a few minutes past 12. I woke up at like past 10. I actually woke up a couple times last night and it was so weird. I think it's because, I don't know, it's been a long time that I you know did a solo trip so i was a bit paranoid so at every slight inconvenience it wasn't even every slight noise so at every noise that i hear throughout the night i jumped up honestly it was so weird but yeah i understand why because obviously i haven't done this in a very 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 long time in months so yeah we're going to walk the streets of frankfurt I need to go to the mall because obviously I told you guys I need to buy a few things and yeah we're gonna start off with that. I got up this morning, just listened to worship, prayed, all that type of stuff, took a shower, obviously did a little beat on my face, I had tea, my vitamins, all of that so I already kind of did my morning routine but I need to grab breakfast and I think I want something really light. I know that the mall that I'm going to which is called My Zill or My Zell, I don't know how you say that. It has a lot of it has a lot of restaurants so or something or it has a lot it has a food court that has a lot of options from everything i've seen like all the videos i've watched and the research i've made it's a really good place to grab something really quick so we're going to eat there um so but first there is a mall that is next to this hotel it's called the skyline and i didn't even see that in the map when i was doing my research so i'm going to run into there first just to see what they have there and then um after that, we're going to go to my cell. Hey guys, I'm finally in the taxi to my cell. Honestly, I went to the Skyline and it was all right. It was okay. And it had pretty much almost all the shops that I would normally go to. It's just, I want more than that. It's given Hungary. Wait, why is this thing going in and out? <laughs> it's given Hungary, like, I mean, the one I went to. So, yeah, it's just best I go to something completely different and that's the reason why I'm going to myself. It took me forever to find a taxi as well. When I tell you, three or four taxis cancelled on me before I found the house. I don't even know why, but at least it's a note moving forward that, yeah, <laughs> taxi is pretty much an issue in this area. But anyway, we're going there and... I'll talk to you guys when we get there. Good morning, Frankfurt City. Today we can look forward to another beautiful day in our wonderful city. The temperatures are rising to remarkable levels once again. Think positively for a marvelous day full of possibilities awaits us. And stay tuned for the new calling me splurge. Let me jump right out the curb. Make this fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Can't be my equal, I don't know what you heard. Crack up the floor and I swear. Keep me a stick if it hurt. I'm thinking of buying this pistachio you your the small box. I said you didn't make money to buy it, so I'm telling you, we're so happy. Smack from the back of a perm. Ice, the bird. Before I do shit, I'm in the turd. Can't take it with your turn. In my own land, we can merge. So in my hand, you can learn. Oh, it's a few hours later, you guys, and I'm on my way to eat. I'm going to eat at somewhere called uh, Steak Rose. 
it's a nice steakhouse that I found on TikTok. Hopefully, it meets my expectation because so far, I'm not gonna lie, Frankfurt has not been doing it for me. Like, I've not been. But we'll talk about that when I get back to the hotel because after I eat, I'm going to go back to my hotel. But I want to go back to that Skyline Bar, sorry, Plaza, because I went to Zara because there's this slippers I'm looking for. They had the size, sorry, they had the slippers at the Zara in the central. Yeah. Oh, is it here? Oh, thank you. But they don't have, oh, thank you so much. But they don't have, I'm just gonna. Thank you. But they don't have the slipper in the center. So I'm gonna go back to the mall. But first, let me eat because your girl is starving. I've not had anything to eat. I actually dropped by a Dunkin' Donuts. Is it open? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna sit outside. Let me show you guys the restaurant. It's called Steak Rose. I'm gonna see here because yeah, it's quite empty and it's so lonely. Let's hope that it's not too loud and you guys can actually hear me. Waiting for them to come outside and serve me, but as I was telling you guys in the taxi, I actually didn't know that we were reaching because I'm not sure, like, I don't know how. I actually don't know how to be honest, but either way, I'm glad that I'm here and I really want to go back to my hotel and relax a bit before I go out for the night. Let me actually check because I have an itinerary. I usually plan my itinerary in my notes app. Um, but let me see. Mm. Yeah, I've, I'm at lunch because for Saturday I had the Zale Mall which we just went to and then I have City Center vibes just to walk around and see what the city center looks like. And I already cut that and there's really not a lot to see in Frankfurt. I'm not gonna lie to you. The vibe I'm getting from Frankfurt is honestly not the vibe that I thought I would get. I thought I would get something a lot more, I don't know, a lot more bougie. I don't want anybody to come for me in the comments, but Frankfurt is not, I don't think it's my place. Because one of the reasons why, one of the main reasons why I like to travel, especially solo, is because obviously i mean i don't want to live in hungary forever so but i do know that for, for a fact i want to stay in europe i mean unless something miraculously happens but i really want to stay in europe so my idea is to kind of travel to these places and see them and then obviously make a choice you know somehow just get a feel for how i feel in the city i know obviously staying in the city for a short period of time wouldn't necessarily give you you know the grand picture or give you the full vibes and stuff but i know how i want to feel and there are certain cities that i've been to actually there's just one city but i don't want to say the city yet just in case you know i'm not gonna talk about that but anyway there are cities that have given me that vibe of like oh yeah i actually can't see myself living here but there are cities that have just like been mm. like frankfurt is one of them that's just like yeah honestly it nah it's not this is not what i expected and i'll be honest with you it isn't and i i, I kind of already knew that when i was planning my itinerary and there was not a lot to do like there was really not a lot you can kind of already sense like how a city would be when you're planning your itinerary and then the options you have and with the options that i had to pick from I already kind of got the sense that this is what it was going to be like. It was going to be a very chill, I'm in a, I'm in a different city but nothing special, nothing different type vibe. And I'm okay with it. It's, it's a relaxing weekend trip anyway so I'm not mad at it. It's just, I just expected more and it's not just giving me that right now. But yeah, I honestly am ready to go back into my hotel and even my hotel is actually really pretty. I don't, I'm not sure I showed you guys really what the hotel inside of. Oh hi one yes person, right? yeah one person and for the drink i already know what i'll have for the drink um i want a glass of red wine i will take primitivo thank you i don't know if i showed you guys the hotel but obviously like when i'm going when i get back to the hotel i'll show you what the lobby looks like but i did a room tour so you guys saw my room and my room is really cute it's very rustic the vibe of the hotel is rustic in my opinion uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to have a steak because I haven't had a steak in a long time and that's the reason why I wanted to come to- Oh, 
I wanted to come to a steakhouse because obviously if you want to eat real good steak, you need to go to a steakhouse, okay? In my opinion. Steakhouse will give you so that's exactly why I'm here. Oh, oh my god, I didn't speak to you guys about yesterday. Did I speak to you guys about yesterday? Maybe I did. But yesterday, um, when I went to the rooftop, it was alright. But honestly, it was very disappointing. Like, really, really disappointing for the tallest building or rooftop in Germany. Not Frankfurt. They told me it was like the tallest in Germany. I was expecting a lot more than what I received and that was really disappointing for me so I didn't stay there long honestly I was tired anyway I was jet lagged from the trip hotel and today how would i wait today today was quite an experience honestly i got to see i know i spoke to you guys a bit at um what's the word at stick bros what it's called whatever it's called um i spoke to you guys a bit there because i mean i had nothing else to do than talk to you guys but yeah the sun is setting and it's really nice but it was a really really good day i would say and it was a good day not because i had fun or i saw stuff and stuff but i think it was a good day because i actually got to experience what i wanted to experience like okay no let me put it like this i got confirmation for what i wanted i've been so on my head and trying to decide like make decisions about certain things and then today gave me clarity that's why it was a good day but last time i think we spoke was when i was at the restaurant so after i ate i obviously went to oh by the way the food was okay it was just okay honestly i expected so much that's what i'm telling you like frankfurt mm -mm. you guys are actually you disappointed me you disappointed me so much that i want to cry because i had a long list of things that i wanted to get let's start from there i thought i was going to find some stores here i didn't find any even the things that i thought i wouldn't like i would find here in like zara and mango that i definitely wouldn't find in budapest because ideally like whenever i travel and i go to mango and zara in other countries it's usually different stock from what they have in budapest because budapest is smaller so the market is smaller so whenever i travel to all these major cities my idea is to go to Zara and Mango and then get the stock like live. And I thought I would have the same experience in Frankfurt because Frankfurt is obviously a major city. But no, it's equally as bad as Budapest. I can confirm. I didn't even buy anything. Like to me, I didn't buy anything that I wanted. Even when I went to Sephora, oh my God, that's another thing. They didn't have a uh, shade, which is so weird to me. Like it's something I didn't expect to find, like for it to be an issue in Frankfurt. They don't have our shit. I wanted to get my condition from NARS, they didn't have it. I wanted to get some concealers, tinted moisturizer, a lot of stuff. They didn't have it. Well, do I got some things? What they had, the ones that I could manage, I got it. One thing I need to commend Fenty for because it doesn't matter where you go, as long as there's a Fenty there, you find your shade. Rihanna, she's that girl. So, Fenty is one brand that I was able to get everything I wanted, but for the most part, nothing. After I ate, I went to the mall, like the one next to my hotel, because I wanted to see if the Zara there had the slippers I was looking for. It wasn't worse than the one that was in the city. I don't even know why I, I thought they would have the stock here. It was worse. And I'm telling you, it was dry. But I went into the store and I picked up fruit and then I picked up a bottle of red wine because I needed it. I had red wine with my meat and that just kind of opened up different senses for me. And I want to continue that for the rest of the night. I'm supposed to go to a place called Gaia at 7 right now it's 707 i already cancelled my reservation i'm gonna go still <laughs> but i need time okay i need to cool off and honestly seeing the way frankfurt is i'm not even moved to go out but i know i just have to because i already committed to being here but it's not really the best honestly i go on a lot of solo trips and this one uh -uh. 
this one is not giving from this point it's going to take me a lot for me to actually do activities because i'm not interested anymore i want to go home i was them at the reception that oh my god i'm supporting with the rooftop and everything and they were telling me oh it's because they have parties outside it's the summertime so they have a lot of parties like in the city and stuff so people don't necessarily go to restaurants and rooftops so i'm like oh it doesn't even make any sense because it's summer summer is the only time that you have to go to these places like these rooftops and stuff so why wouldn't you go there apparently the people in frankfurt don't think so so yeah you guys this is the cutest purse ever and when i tell you it's so simple so classy oh my god i can't wait to destroy i, I just love how they have it in green and um cream i absolutely love this purse it is so cute i don't even know if i'm going to find a space um this place i'm going to but i'm going to go either way because you know why not it's the last night here uh, in frankfurt so obviously i might as well just try and do something but this is my outfit this is what i'm wearing it's a very lovely dress and the lights in this room is not the best so i'm going to try my best to i have something attached but i don't know if it's picking up but it's a very lovely dress this dress is actually from sheen <laughs> And I have this earring that I got from H&M. I have my usual jewelry. Nothing new. It's the same. I usually don't change my jewelry that much. Except when it comes to my wristwatch and my bracelets. And I'm going to wear these shoes that I got from, I think, Zara last year. I'm going to take this popular bag. This is the popular purse I'm going to be carrying tonight. Hopefully, everything goes well. Hopefully, there is still something for me to do tonight. Because Frankfurt! You guys disappointed me. But anyway, let's just go out for the night and see where the night takes us. I'm going to try my best to, you know, do something for the last night. And then, yeah, see you guys. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high. Hands up high. Hands up high. Tell them dim the lights down right now. Put me in the mood. I'm talking about dark moon perfume. Go, go. I recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, mm. and I know your taste is a little bit, mm, high maintenance, mm. everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis, with poetic justice, poetic justice, if I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it, I mean I write poems in these songs. I'm back to my hotel, you guys. Today was better than yesterday, I'm not gonna lie, like today was quite okay i want to say the place was good and i also met some girls that were also they're not solo but they were kind of solo so they were together alone it was a good night i think it was way better than yesterday the place is actually okay the only thing there is it's not what instagram or tiktok makes it anyway i ordered something to eat because i am starving something tells me that i'm not going to like what i ordered because i literally went on walt and just picked something on my way back to the hotel because i know the kitchen's already closed in the hotel so um i just picked something and i asked the taxi driver to tell to take me to somewhere that was open and he said nowhere in frankfurt is open at this time on saturday he said nowhere is open again Another confirmation that this is not a place for me. It is definitely not the place for me because even in Budapest, by this time you can find something, at least something. Definitely need to charge this camera because it's low. It's gonna die on me soon. But hey guys, good morning, happy Sunday. It is officially the day that we leave Frankfurt. And I woke up at 8 today. Oh, last night. Did I talk to you? I ordered something to eat last night. I think after. I think I told you guys that. I don't remember. The food came really late and I, and I ate really late. And honestly, I need to go on a diet or a cleanse or a detox something because I've been eating so bad the past couple of days. This is not even just because I'm in Frankfurt. But before I came to Frankfurt, like... I've just been eating really bad lately and that also reflects on my, on my mental state. I'm not going to talk about how depressing that is. We're going to focus on the positives. It is almost noon. So I woke up at 8 but 
I've just been like lounging and everything. I was able to get late checkout because my flight today is at 10 p.m. I thought I would want to explore the city a bit more. That's why I booked a 10 p.m. flight. Honestly, I don't want to explore. <laughs> I don't want to do anything. I, mm -mm, I'm over it. I'm done. I'm sorry, Frankfurt. I've said it a million times in this vlog and I'm pretty sure you guys are tired of me saying it. Anyway, so I'm going to lounge the whole of today. Uh, just relaxed type thing the reason why i am kind of dressed already is because i want to get chipotle for the first time like i want to try chipotle for the first time and i'm so excited about that everywhere is closed here in frankfurt on sunday like the mall is closed the shops are not open which is so strange and so weird to me obviously in hungary shops open stores open on sundays but they close earlier but they shall open here everywhere is closed I'm even surprised that the Chipotle is open because I wanted to get something like antihistamine because uh, my allergies are killing me. But nowhere is open. I'm going to the mall, like the, the one that's next to the hotel, the Skyline Plaza. The, the pharmacy or stuff is supposed to be open. So I want to see. I want to know. I want to check it. It's going to get dark because this hallway is very dark. I don't want to get into here with anybody. That's why I want to wait that somebody is going and I just don't want to go into the elevator um, yeah I don't want to go elevator with anybody yeah he went I'm so weird for that but I'm definitely weird for that somebody else is coming anyway but elevator three two four So I ended up entering the elevator myself, which is really good because I don't like entering the elevator with people, especially when I'm vlogging. I just don't like it. Oh, also, I could show you guys the hotel because I don't think I showed you guys the hotel. Yeah, well, I think when I'm back, I will do that. When I'm back from the hotel. Good morning. Oh my god, the lighting is so good. Well, maybe I should come and see. Don't forget that you have to push this shit. Maybe I would actually come outside and chill because the weather is good. I worship you. Uh oh, it's cool. Uh oh. Okay. That's interesting. That was interesting. Closed. But Chipotle says they're open. Like, Google Maps says Chipotle is open today. So, but how do I enter? Because the Chipotle is inside the mall, inside the plaza. So, if it's closed, if the plaza is locked, how do I enter then? We got the good. I am also deciding to film a TikTok as well of me trying out Chipotle for the first time. But I'm just gonna do them together because honestly, I can't refilm it. Like, I can't film the two. So I'm gonna do that. I really want to see what the hype is about, right? Let's see what it is giving for YouTube. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it looks really good, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, I have sour cream in there, but I feel like the sour cream is not enough because the videos I've seen on TikTok, the sour cream is usually a lot. Mm. One more, one more. I got the spicy thing, spicy sauce on the side. Not very spicy, but I like it. Okay. I really like it. We are ready to check check out. How can this be? I am packed and ready. It's almost 6 p.m. So I'm ready to go right now. Do I feel happy about leaving? Absolutely. I'm ready to go home and reset for the week. I like to go to the airport fairly early because except like something is holding me back from not going to the airport early, especially when I'm going back 
home because I'm not sure what the departure looks like from the place I'm going, obviously. So I need to make sure that I get there on time. Maybe the security checks will be different. The line will be long or, you know, something, anything unexpected. That's the reason why I like to go to the airport as early as I possibly can. Going down. Yes, we are, honey. Yes, we are. I am wearing a skirt, this, um, basic that I got from H&M. Hi! Happy Sunday! Gaia? Yeah, Gaia was actually nice. Yeah. It was really, really good. But it was packed though. and yeah. Well, that's what I wanted. So, it was really good. So that's gonna make me come back to Frankfurt, yeah? Nope. <laughs> Were you there for long? Uh, I was there until... Yeah, one past 1am one and the closer yeah. too, yeah. And I met some girls, so we just kind of hung out a bit. It was nice. You know, they in the video they said they had a pool, but that wasn't a pool. That was just like a hole in the ground. A hole in the ground with water in it. <laughs> basically, that, that's what it was. Because I could barely even fit five people because it was so small. Where, where is that? I have no clue. And it's actually so frustrating because it took the reason why I met the girls is because we're all looking for the place. Mm. So it was so heating. Yeah, it was heating. Um, is the rooftop open? It's closed on Sundays. Complete. I just wanted to see the view. Everything in Germany is closed on Sundays. Why? I have no idea. Um, it's literally everything is closed. Only things that are open is like like yeah, restaurants, some of that. That's so weird. It takes, it takes some getting used to. No, I don't think I'll ever get used to that. No. That's why I would rather work on a Sunday. Because what else am I going to do? Yeah. You know? It's so boring. Mm -hmm. It's bad enough that even the fight, the weekends are... Even the German Oh my god. Okay, so these are the cards. And that's it, right? That's it. Do you need like a taxi or anything? Um... I'll call a boat, that's fine. I wanted to... So, even there's no bar open upstairs. Nothing. Even the hotel. No. For the guests. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> it's I'll so tell crazy. You, I'll tell you, the only bar crazy. open is this one here, but... I mean, you don't get much of a view from here. So. At all. Okay. Anyway, I saw the view at night. Yeah. I just wanted to put it in the vlog, but it's okay. One more time for the hotel before we leave. My taxi is like two minutes or three minutes away. But this is what the bar looks like. Honestly, I wanted to show you guys the rooftop, but it's not open. This is what the, it's pretty. It's actually really pretty here. I don't know what goes up there and I don't want to know. I just want to go home. <laughs> Let's have some water. Okay, bye. Hi, Lucy. He's looking at me like, that's why you have a camera. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we are off to the airport. everything it is loud and I also change positions I'm in a more private room um, this is what it looks like and I'm pretty sure they're just looking at me like sis did you not eat from your house this one is light because I'm just having crackers and cheese and a quick snack Let's chit chat a little bit and then we can call it a day. So I got back yesterday from Frankfurt and it was so late. Like you guys know my flight was delayed. Did I tell you guys my flight was delayed? Yes, I did. I told you guys my flight was delayed. I got here really late. I got here like 
um, I want to say almost 1 a.m. So obviously with coming out from the aircraft, coming out from the airport, getting a taxi, getting to my house, all of it was really late. And I know that I have to wake up early today because I, I still have a job. <laughs> so I just kind of left everything alone and got on ready, took a shower. Um, which just went straight to bed. I didn't really do anything last night. Uh, another reason why I sat here to chit chat with you guys is because I really want to show you guys the perfumes I got. First things first, I had a budget and one thing about me is that I always plan out now. I feel, which I feel like this is going to be another vlog. I'm going to talk about how financially responsible I have become and I don't even... I don't know this girl okay i don't know if it comes with like late 20s entering your 30s but i've been so to the t like writing things down it's, i know where every dime i make is going but anyway so i did a budget for this trip and i exceeded it i ex i'm actually not gonna do a whole haul on everything i got because they're a lot but <laughs> but what I will show you guys though are the perfumes I got. Okay, so the first one I picked up is the Prada Infusion the Ginger Berry. I think I showed you guys already in this vlog, but I just wanted to show you guys again. Look, I I really love this fragrance. Do you see? This is what I was spraying every day. Now the second one I picked up is a very tiny bottle, but this is the Kali Young Pistachio Gelato 33. I picked the 10 ml because i've tested this perfume out before and it doesn't last okay this doesn't last. it smells so good like really really good it's a very sweet fragrance obviously pistachio but i really love it like i love how creamy it is it's giving pistachio ice cream with a bit of lemon in it that's just what i get all the reasons why i didn't even buy the 50 ml is because i have a dupe for it let me show you guys actually it's from latafa it is their affection love affection and it's the exact same thing so that's why i actually didn't i don't need it i don't need the kiali one and this one is way stronger like this one is more potent and this lasts a lot longer now i have a new discovery backstory or fun fact about me and van cleef perfumes i don't know i just don't really gravitate towards van cleef i don't know right i just don't like van cleef perfumes none of them call my name now i take it back because this one is amazing this is the van cleef santa blanc you guys it is a friend i'm gonna spray it today i've not sprayed perfume yet because i know that i'm going to do this video so this is a very special scent this has fig in it and i've been wanting a fig fig well, i can't speak i've been wanting a fig fragrance for a very long time the one i've really had my eye on is from Mate premiere it's called the parisian mosque that fragrance is on my wish list and this smells so similar to that i think they actually compared the both of them and i see why this is described as a woody powdery vanilla amber musky scent right for me it's very much musky amber woody you can't see but it's not like strong woody for me it's fresh it's clean and it's fresh i think this is also going to work really well during the colder season so it's an all year round if you ask me i showed you guys this already in the vlog i don't know if i opened it did i open it i probably did but this is the dng devotion i already have the um 50 ml and as you guys can see there's literally almost nothing in here this is one of my favorite vanilla fragrance if not my favorite at the moment like i really 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 love this it's a very beautiful vanilla first off this is straight up vanilla and lemon so this is definitely a lemon part i think i said this before now that i'm saying this i think i've described this but i'm just gonna read the notes for you guys quickly the top note is candied lemon the middle note is panacoda orange blossom rum and then base is vanilla it's a very simple mix but very efficient like this is the ultimate you want to be eating out type fragrance like you want to be chewed up and then for the set i got it this is how the set comes um I, i'm absolutely proud of myself for getting this because honestly i almost didn't get this it's coming with the 10 ml makes it even sweeter basically i have 110 ml for the price of 100 ml and then the last fragrance i got is one that i never saw myself ever getting i mean the brand though 
I never saw myself getting any fragrance from this brand. But I love Hermes, but I love them for the accessories and not anything else. Like, honestly, I am. Mm -mm. This is the Hermes Alexa de Meuvel, whatever it is. Um, this is what the box looks like. I randomly sprayed it. Like, I was done picking out the fragrances that I wanted to get. And then I randomly, when I say randomly, I just randomly sprayed it. And sis, when I tell you this thing confused me. <laughs> I paid for the fragrances and then I walked away, sat down in the lounge, and then I kept smelling something. Like I kept smelling something. I'm like, wait, I sprayed a couple fragrances on my my hand, but like one keeps sticking out to me. Then I remember that I sprayed this one. When I tell you I left that lounge, ran back to the duty free, made sure that it was fragrance. I had to spray it again, like on a clean surface. And lo and behold. This fragrance has a feminine. This is a pure amber fragrance and I love amber. I think my favorite notes in fragrance is vanilla for a fact. I love amber, oh my god. I love tonka bean in fragrances as well, but I don't know if this one has tonka bean, but might, might actually have. I told you, it does have tonka bean. It does have tonka bean. So the notes on this are raisin because it's really sweet, has orange peel. There's something with me and lemons oranges vanilla tonka bean amber there's just something because they hit they are always a hit back to back for me and then has amber has peru balsam has caramel that's how sweet and creamy this is it's so thick and then it has cedar patchouli you don't smell the patchouli in this because i don't like patchouli this has oak incest um sandalwood tonka bean and then vanilla sugar this, this fragrance has my heart this really surprised me and i don't know why nobody put me on to this and nobody's talking about this on the internet because i really love this like i really 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 love this i'm gonna end this vlog here because i've been speaking for about 20 something minutes and the vlog is already as long as it is so if you like the vlog go ahead and leave me a thumbs up let me know your thoughts in the comment section below follow me on my socials instagram and tiktok thank you guys so much for the love and support as always i will see you in my next one bye those of you that are listening in your car at your job and you're at home i don't care where you at turn this up right now because we're about to go in hey so